What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here with Extreme Outdoors. And if you guys are new here to the channel, make sure to go smash that subscribe button over in the corner and also give me a thumbs up on this video. I would really appreciate it. But in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys two different ways to rig a tube jig. One of my favorite baits here in the Midwest. These tubes catch giant fish from smallmouth to largemouth bass. So I'm gonna be teaching you two different ways to rig the tube jig. So let's dive right into it. So guys, before I show you the two different ways how to rig a tube jig, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Z-Bait tubes. And these are the three and a half inch tubes. This is the green pumpkin color. And Z-Bait has a bunch of different colors on their website. But all around, green pumpkin is one of my favorite colors to use here in the Midwest. Because when you're throwing green pumpkin, be ready because you're going to catch a ton of fish. But make sure to go check out the Z-Bait tubes. I'm going to leave the link below to their website. But let's dive into the video showing you guys how to rig the tube jigs. So guys, starting off, I got two different jig heads here. This is actually the Goofy tube head and this is the Finesse tube head. So guys, these are the two different ways that I rig a tube. This one is actually weedless. And this one you want to throw when you're working around like sand or rocky bottoms like on Lake St. Clair. I throw this one a lot because it has a lot of sandy areas and rocky bottoms where the smallmouth like to hang out. And this is just a great way how to catch big fish here in Michigan. I throw this one a lot when it's a weedy bottom like around inland lakes around where I live. But I'm going to show you guys how to use both of these rigs and how to set them up. So guys, I'm starting off with the finesse tube head. I'm gonna show you guys how to rig this one up in a tube. This is the Z-Bait tube, like I said. I'm gonna get it out. These are both simple ways how to rig a tube. I just wanted to show you real quick in today's video. So first of all, with this rig, you gotta grab the head and put it in the end right here. Just find the end. There's a little hole at the bottom of this tube right here. Just shove it right in there and work your head all the way to the top of this tube jig just like that and then you want to poke this out right there so then you're going to put your line through there and this is a great way to rig a tube to catch big fish like i said i use this rig a lot on lake st Clair. there it is but it's just a super easy way to catch big fish. This is one of my go-to baits when I'm working new lakes, trying to find some fish. And this is kind of like a crawdad. So it's a super good bait, guys. Check it out. So this rig right here, it's kind of like a wide gap hook, if you can see that. I'm gonna get this tube out real quick and show you. This is the fire craw color. Looks super good. But this one, I actually throw, it's weedless, like I said. I throw this in a lot of thick weed patches. It produces some big fish, guys. This year in 2020, I've caught some really big fish on it already. So see the hook right here? You wanna grab the hook and find the bottom of that tube, just like that. And instead of using the tube head, you wanna use the pointy end right here and just put it right in there and get it all the way Try to work the point of the hook all the way to the front, way up there. And it's just gonna look like that right now. And you wanna work this tube head all the way up into there. So you, you're just pulling this hook all the way up there. And you wanna work that tube head, or that jig head all the way up to the top. It's kind of harder than that other rig, but you want to work it up to the top just like that. And this method is called the stupid tube. It's a super good way to catch big fish here in Michigan or pretty much all around the country. A lot of pro anglers use this rig too. So when you're right there, you want to grab this hook and just put it right back in there. Just like that. And there we go guys, that is what the stupid tube rig looks like. And when you're using this bait, you wanna cast it out and just keep tension on that line and that it's just gonna sit on the bottom just like that. And it's just gonna look like a crawdad scooting along the bottom. It's just a super good bait, 
great way to catch big fish like i said here in the midwest but here are the two rigs guys these are both great ways to catch a ton of big fish all around the country so hopefully you guys learned some tips and tricks today how to rigging a tube jig so thanks a lot for stopping by the channel and watching today's video we'll see you guys in the next video